How to Butcher Meat Select Meat Explained Beef Cuts, Meal and Budget Tips for selecting the right beef cuts for your meal and budget When we stand at the butcher's counter, most of us may wonder what is the difference between a top sirloin and a porterhouse. If you ever come across a good beef cookbook, you will be able to appreciate a good diagram of beef cuts. Beef is the widely consumed animal protein throughout the world when compared to any other meat. Hence it is important for a good steward to select a good piece of beef for his wonderful recipe. Grading of Beef Cuts The beef is usually graded into three categories based on its quality by the United States Department of Agriculture USDA. Grades are specified after taking into consideration the color, appearance, meat's consistency and last but not least the amount of marbling in the beef. The graded beef is classified as follows. Prime Meat Choice meat. Select meat. Prime meat. The meat, which is having more marbling, is termed as prime meat. This is usually found in fine restaurants. Select meat. The select meat consists of less marbling, which means low fat and less calories. But it won't be as tender as that of prime and also contains less juice and flavor. Choice meat. Choice meat consists of more marbling than select meat but less marbling than prime meat. But it is somewhat tender than select and also juicy in flavor than select. Beef cuts. The names of the beef cuts vary between countries. Sometimes it varies within the regions of the country also. The rear section of the carcass is termed as rounds in US, but in Canada it is called hip. Here is a breakdown of some common cuts of beef. Rib eye. This is the top cut preferred by most of the beef connoisseurs. This is characterized by abundant marbling. When you cook this beef cut, the ribeye gets melted into the meat and produces a juicy tasting recipe. The ribeye steak is called an entrecote in French. Top sirloin. Lesser grade cut but this is the largest beef cut when compared to other beef cuts. In layman's terms, a family of four can complete their dinner with one top sirloin. Always prefer to buy prime grade rather than choice and select grades. Porterhouse. As the name suggests, it is not concerned with any kind of house. This beef cut has ample marbling. It is a top loin with good flavor. It has the largest eye and tenderloin. This is being usually used in restaurants with challenge for their customers. They will give entire meal free for those who took all of their 26 ounce steak. Chateaubriand. This has been cut from the butt end but should weigh around 24 ounces. A 6 inches long Chateaubriand will weigh around 24 ounces. A Chateaubriand with Bernays sauce served in a dining table is a wonderful delicacy. Filet Mignon. A well worth costly choice beef cut, if you cook it with pot roasting. This is most soft with less water beef cut. This don't have intense flavor as that of ribeye and porterhouse. New York Strip. This is one of the cost-effective beef cut parts. This cheap cut is a T-bone with the tenderloin and also a good quality cut. T-bone. This is also one of the cheapest beef cuts. This consists of a full loin eye and medium-sized tenderloin. A couple for few delicate bites always prefers this. This smaller tenderloin is not always suitable for heavy meals. For heavy dinner, the customers usually prefer New York Strip. Ground beef. Ground beef should not be less than 70% lean. The package will usually indicate whether it is from ground sirloin, or ground round. Suitable cooking methods. Loins and ribs are the most tender cuts of beef. The loins and ribs should be cooked with high heating methods to improve its taste and tenderness. Broiling, grilling, roasting, sot.